dear friends, we continue working with circles today. Uh, we're going to be coloring them. I just want to show you a small album that you all can get. Um, the brand is Strathmore Mixed Media. Really, really thick paper, like really, really thick, that you could use in order to practice your drawings, your colorations, anything that you need to do uh, in order to learn how to uh, work with neurographical pattern. So I just suggest for you to get something like this. It's half uh, smaller than the actual album that I'm using for my classes. This will help you out to do things twice quicker. So if you're concerned about time, if you're concerned about, um, you know, really spoiling those albums that you want to use for your artwork, you can practice first on the small um, albums and then continue with the larger ones. I just wanted to show you this one. You can get it in Michael's. You can get it uh, on Amazon. Um, please use it uh, if you'd like. So today we're looking at the circle pattern and I just want to talk about different ways of coloring circles. And I'm only doing it for practice so you understand. Um, I don't bring any psychological meaning here. It's just to show you the technique. So you're all aware of uh, the fact that you can color in a different way. Um, again, the colors, it's up to you what to select. This color is pink. It looks a little bit reddish on the screen. Uh, I'm gonna use my favorite colors, green, pink, and um, purple. So we can start with that. And of course, yellow always works very well with any colors. So if you're not sure where to start, how to start, what colors to use, start with yellow. It's gonna help you out to figure out what will be next. So I'm gonna just start anywhere. And again, you can always put your palm on your drawing and just go around and trying to find the spot where you would like to start. Or if you already have experience coloring, you can just color and anywhere, anywhere. You can start at any point. Um, so you are not stuck with the fact that, oh, oh my God, I don't know where to start. Just pick one point and start doing it. So, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just start coloring right in the middle. And I'm gonna color this entire circle in yellow color. So when you coloring, just be um, creative. You can make darker at, at the lines, like a little bit darker, and then proceed to a little bit lighter coloring. So you can see what I've done, right? Um, I pushed harder here at the edges of the line, and then I let it go, and um, I made it lighter and lighter, and here I just stopped. And it kind of looks 3D, right? So let's try something similar doing with another color, okay? Uh, okay, I've got my yellow. So now I want to try to do green. Same thing, look, you can really push harder here at the edge. It's not, well, you, you can make it flat as well. I'm not saying you have to do it this way. I don't want you to think that I'm pushing you to create 3D images here, but I'm just giving you choices, right? If you push harder, then go lighter like this, right? I'm showing you a technique. You go lighter, your circle is gonna be more like a 3D versus flat. But sometimes you really want to do flat. And in this case, you don't have to do this, just color them as they are using your pencils. And look, I'm not gonna color the whole thing. I want to leave some empty space for breathing. You know, I really want to bring lightness, elegance to the coloring. And you don't have to, again, you don't have to color the entire pattern. It's okay to leave those empty uh, white spaces here. It looks nice, it looks light, it looks attractive, right? 
So what I've showed you so far, we color it two circles, right? We color it in yellow, we color it in green. But what I've done, I just selected the whole circle and I colored. You don't have to color like this if you don't want to. What you could do, you could color it in a way that it only shows partial segments, not the entire circle. You see what I've done here? I've colored just partial segment. I didn't color around the circle here. I just colored partial segment. And in Nera Graphica, we never do mosaic. We don't color in pink, then in another color, let's say green, violet. We don't do this. Why? Because we want our work to look really beautiful, integrated. And uh, coloration is the next level of integration after rounding, right? So we created circles, we connected them with lines, we rounded um, all the crossings to create a pattern. And the next step of integration is coloration. It brings together components of the drawing. Again, you can use cheap color pencils. It's okay to do that. But if you really want to get beautiful uh, feeling, I recommend using Prismacolor or watercolor pencils. There are some um, pencils also metallic that you could use for this work. They have that metallic feeling. Um, but you could also use just the regular pencils. When you master your skills, then you can buy more expensive, okay? So that's how I started. I don't know how my final drawing is gonna look like. I have no idea, but I'm trying, right? I know if I use green in one place, I have to use it somewhere else. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use it here. And again, I'm using the same approach. I'm making it dark near the line of the circle. And then I just color it lighter and lighter and lighter until I get this beautiful feeling of lightness here. You see, already coming out pretty. And then it gives me an idea how to continue. Okay, I'm saying, let me color here as well in pink. We should not be scared to overlap colors. We're gonna be doing it here as well. So I'm giving some pinkish coloration here as well, okay? Um, again, it depends if you drawing to calm yourself down. If you had high level of anxiety, I would suggest using light blue color, light green. Uh, it would bring calmness. It would bring some sense of peace, satisfaction. Um, if you really want to do something fancy, um, something that would attract anyone, whoever would look at your drawing, uh, I usually use um, pink or like the colors that I'm using right now, violet color, yellow. Uh, I can add some red touch up. So it all depends what you're trying to do. But here again, we're only looking at the technique. We're trying to understand how it all works. But when you're gonna be drawing with the meaning and we're gonna be talking about the meaning, how you can connect everything with, psych with psychology, with psychological component. That's gonna be a separate class on that. But for now, I just want you to master technique. It's already, it is coming out already pretty. That's what I see. I have a sense of flowers, like maybe early spring flowers. Even the smell I started to feel of tulips. Maybe because we're getting closer to spring, and today is a Valentine's Day. This is my gift to you for Valentine's. So 
for the loved ones who are close to you, you can practice for them. Create a nice card and give it to them for Valentine. So here you see, I'm using almost similar technique for coloring the space, okay? And again, you don't have to color the whole thing. And we're not gonna be coloring the whole thing today. It's just, um, you just need to get a sense of how to work with different colors, how to color the entire circle or just partial circle. For you, it will be a very good exercise to understand that you can color in all possible ways. You can also color as a flow. Like the whole thing could be colored in a way that everything flows, okay? But I'm not doing it because I've done it already in one of my lessons. Um, so I really want to show you different ways of coloring. And again, here, I'm gonna just give some lightness. And leave some untouched elements. See how oh, beautiful. Already coming out, light, beautiful summary, I would say. And I would definitely want to add some green here for balance. If you use the color in one place, I suggest you use it in another place. You see, I color it flat here and there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm gonna color right here. Right? Do, do you get a sense of spring here? <laughs> I guess I, sp I miss spring so much. We had snow in New York yesterday and today it's pretty cold. I'm dreaming of springtime <laughs> and it shows here. So now it's time to bring another color and see how it fits into this entire pattern. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring another color. And I'm gonna see how else I'm gonna incorporate it into this drawing. I hope you're coloring with me and you're enjoying it as much as I do. For me, it brings a lot of energy and joy and nice memories as well. Um, you can also have a cup of hot tea next to you. Just drink it. Think about good times that you have. And if you're planning on celebration today, think about how well you're going to be celebrating with your loved ones, people close to you, or if you're staying home, you're not celebrating, that's a good way also to kind of get exposed to coloring and learning techniques and progress with your skills. Even if you know Neurographica, you studied, but you struggle with colors and a lot of people struggle with colors. That's what I'm learning. People come to me and they say, we don't know where to start. We don't know where to end. That is a good way of learning and practicing. Again, you don't have to use album of this size. I'm only doing it because I want you to see what I'm doing. Otherwise it would be too small in camera. But you can really start with smaller albums and um, practice your technique there with the smaller albums. And then you can do larger scale. I like it, pretty. All right, so now I need to see where else to add this color. I'm really like getting very nice feeling here, a softness, right? I, I can feel the softness of that. Um, it will come up to me. So um, now I took yellow and I want to add yellow here partially. You see, you don't have to color the entire circle. Remember how we started with the centerpiece? We color the whole thing, but now what we're doing, we are coloring segments here, partial circles. And it brings a lot of movement, a lot of movement to your entire pattern. See that? Yeah, very nice. So I'm gonna do more.
and now I have to balance out this yellow, right? It has to come up somewhere else. And I think that would be a good way of balancing. So we are getting balanced colored pattern, not just coloring for nothing, right? It has to be pretty. You need to like what you're doing. In the beginning, you may not. And a lot of people get disappointed. A lot of people get frustrated that they not really getting the quality that they're looking for. But let me tell you, it really takes time to master the skills. My first drawings were super ugly, believe me. I hated them. And I felt like, oh, oh my God, like I would never master the skill, but I did. And I'm proud of myself that I didn't give up. I tried and I practiced and I watched other people doing it. And then I learned and I'm very thankful for this. So I want to give you a space of thinking how to finish it. I myself will finish this drawing and I'll post in one of my groups. You guys have the links to my groups on YouTube channel. I'm posting it under my videos my page, what Neurogra what Neurographica is, how to join my free drone groups. So please join and you will see the final drone there, but you continue practicing, see what you can do for yourself here, how else you can improve. Um, you definitely can add other figures here if you know how. Triangles, squares, right? Um, you can also add other markers. You can add silver marker on top of that or golden marker, or even white marker, um, just adding lines drawn with the silver or gold or white, it will add another layer of beauty for this drawing. So I'll see you soon. We're gonna be talking about the meanings of colors. Have a fantastic Valentine's Day today. However uh, you're spending it, it doesn't matter. I'm giving you some creative work to do. And uh, I would always appreciate if you would uh, subscribe to my channel, click this little bell in order not to miss my free videos. And thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to seeing you at my free groups. Thank you guys. Bye.